Hey, Foundry Church, Pastor Eric Folkers here joining you for your devotions. And we're doing them online this week so that we can all kind of spend time together in God's Word. Normally, our weekly rhythm is this. On Monday, uh, you would have your devotional and you'd do day one with a scripture reading. Day two would just be a scripture reading. But today, in day two, we actually have a scripture reading and a devotional. Our scripture comes out of Revelation chapter 3, verses 17 and 18. And then uh, we have a devotional that will follow today. I'm excited to do this with you because I know this, everything seems a little discombobulated right now. You know, up is down and everything's sideways. It probably feels like, you know, when are we gonna be back to normal life? Are we gonna be back to normal life? But just remembering when we gather at the word of God, we gather with the Prince of Peace and the words he spoke to the Apostle John while he was on the island of Patmos. So let's just take a breath, look at Revelation chapter 3, and let's hear the words of Jesus Christ spoken to the church in Laodicea. Verse 17, you say that I am rich, I have acquired wealth, and I have need of nothing. But Jesus goes on to say, you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy gold from me refined in the fire so that you can become rich and white clothing that you can wear so that you can cover your shameful nakedness and to salve and take the salve and put it on your eyes so that you can see. Actually, these are all really interesting things that Jesus speaks to the church in Laodicea. Let's jump into the devotion today because these are real issues that go on. Jesus is speaking to real things within the cultural context. Check this out. The devotion. Have you ever watched a news story um, on some corrupt figure who has done horrible things and remains unscathed and unashamed? I know it's kind of a rhetorical question, right? It's like, well, isn't that what you know, most kind of politicians and things are these days. Well, here's this. We are shocked when someone thinks that their status, their wealth, or their connections remove them from any sense of guilt or bearing consequences, even in their own minds. This is the situation we face in Laodicea. They were a wealthy banking city. So there was a lot of financial um, resources there, right? They were a banking city in that uh, region. They were known for luxurious black wool and an exotic eye salve that everyone came to get from all over. Using the very items they hold dear, Jesus says, don't find your confidence in your bank account because I'm looking at your soul. Your fancy black wool doesn't make you acceptable. He says, put on my righteousness. Your eyes are not healed with your salve. Instead, they must be opened by the Spirit so you can see what actually matters to God. The prideful ways of Laodicea had seeped into the church. What a sad day when the church doesn't spread the gospel to the city, but the city spreads the world's point of view to the church. We need to take a close look at our lives and figure out what we are using as a measuring rod. We are to be looking to the Lord Jesus Christ being transformed into his image. If we think wealth, clothing, prestige, and those things are a sign that we have not sinned, we are fooling ourselves. Last fall, we compared um, the book of 2 John to the, the children's story, The Emperor's New Clothes. The emperor's pride blinded him from the fact that he was walking down the street naked. He was completely naked. Sin causes us to do shameful things. And pride blinds us from stopping until it's too late. My friends, I encourage you, if there's anything that this devotion has convicted you of in your spirit, I would invite you, spend some time laying it before God. Don't be too prideful to repent. Maybe share with the people you're around right now. Share with them what's going on. And let the Spirit of God refine you and transform you into the image of Jesus Christ. Grace and peace to you as we go throughout this strange season of being shut down uh, this is actually a really opportunistic time for us to connect with the Word of God, connect with our families, and really spend some time reflecting on what God's saying, what Christ said to the church in Laodicea, and how it applies to our lives. Grace and peace to you, and we will see you in the next, well, I'm sure we'll be back online again soon. See you.